Okay, I'm imagining a leaflet, or actually a display board for the back of the rickshaw next spring. This is, of course, the free-range Buddhist pay-it-forward pedicab. Pedicab's not as well-known a word as rickshaw, but it's the more accurate word, so I think I want to go there. Maybe I advertise it as the rickshaw first of all, and then once people have used it, I refer to it as the pedicab. Good, that's getting clearer for me now. This is why I make these films and have my head in the corner and all the knots in the top right-hand side. It's an iteration so that I end up delivering a product that does more of what I want it to do and less of what I don't want it to do in the world. And the same goes for my communication and everything else. This is only an iteration, you know. Hopefully, if you watch the film that should be published today, if the uploading works uh, well, the film called, this is the film I'm really wanting you to watch um, soon, and why not today? It's called The Story Behind... Oh, Story Behind... Where's the book gone? Uh, uh, sorry. This book. The Secrets of the Norman Invasion by Nick Austin. Um, yeah, so that I expect, I hope it will be lauded by my biographer and um, his historian working for the Queen, Chris Gidlow. I, I hope he appreciates what I've done in making a pub-based film about a book that just engages people in history, whether or not it's historically accurate, is a whole other question to be returned to, maybe. But uh, there's value in the book, and it's available <coughs> from streetbank.com and freelander.org, or by phoning me 0780 I hope you adopt this policy. If you are going to consume, consume on behalf of uh, borrowing on behalf of lending. <laughs> yeah, so when you buy something that you think someone else might want to use, make sure you buy enough of it um, in order that you can lend it out as well. So if you're going to use an iPad all the time, buy two, and then you've got one to lend out. So I've actually got... F there are four iPads available through streetbank.com. No, sorry, that's perhaps an exaggeration. I have four iPads and can usually only use two or three at a time. So, um, you know, at present, while I'm speaking on this one, another film is uploading, and it's going to take three hours for the film about this to upload. I digress. I'm here to talk about the leaflet that I... Uh, no, the display board in the pedicab. It says the favourite topics of conversation... Um, from the your rickshaw, um, rickshaw. The favourite topics of conversation from your rickshaw captain. That's the word. I said captain. I said what? I said captain. I said what? I said captain. He said what? I said captain. He said what do you want? Do 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 do. -do. Captain Sensible came up to me and said, "I like your haircut." He wouldn't do that today. That's for sure. So, um, topic number one, how's Hastings coming along? What would it look like in 2066? What do you want it to look like? And how do you get the energy to do that? That's quite an involved topic, but anyhow, I'm glad I've spelt it out. Topic number two. Stories as to how we've each made connections that ended up having greater depth than we imagined. So I might talk about being a door knocker, raising money for India, and um, ending up making a friendship... Um, Although, of course, that friendship is in jeopardy a little bit if I've borrowed books and haven't returned to them, etc., etc. So, um, yeah. How we've connected with people and the benefits have been surprising. So another anecdote from me 
is about a friend who lives in a lovely f located flat in Pelham Crescent, so I can point to this en route. Brilliant, that makes the story work better. Um, and he just happened to be at a meditation class and said in a, in a little place for announcements in the meditation class, oh wow, this is really important, that he said it in a place that doesn't exist now in the meditation class, they've taken out announcements that aren't relevant to Tree Ratner. Whew. Um, he said, can I borrow a battery charger for a car from anyone? I said, I haven't got one, but I'll go and buy one tomorrow with you at the shop. We did that, because uh, I, I needed one sooner or later. I was, I was getting a van, I think, or I had a van, but I hadn't got the battery charger. Um, and, um, yeah, and out of that, he ended up, um, when I was living in the van, um, in a garage, sleeping in a van in a garage, um, he... Um, offered me accommodation at his flat and I moved in for nine or ten months and it was um, a very pleasant environment in which to stay in a wonderful location so um, ask me if you want a flat in Pelham Crescent. Um, okay next thing yeah so those are the stories so point two point one was Hastings hashtag 2066 that's going to be a major hashtag of mine. So my, you can find me under hashtag free range, hashtag Buddhist, hashtag 2066. Um, I've got a bad back, that's why I'm moving. I um, haven't had much sleep, etc, etc. I'm at a funny angle, so we're going to have to just change it to this. Thank you for sticking with it this long. Um... The third thing that is a preferred topic of conversation, the second thing was stories of um, connection, that you, connections that you've made with people. Actually, the third thing is stories of disconnections, people you'd like to be closer to or feel less pain about. Yeah, so disconnections. Brilliant. Community development theme one, connection theme two, disconnection theme, theme three. Then theme four, the specifics of how someone is planning to pay it forward. Um, theme five, oh, well really, giving me a three minute insight into the character who's there. And can I film you for a potted series called um, Hastings Tubes? That's hashtag Hastings Tube. Anyone can start using that hashtag. The what I'll try and do is encourage people who use that hashtag to keep the films down to three, maybe four minutes, and to edit them so that, unlike this, <laughs> so that they give a real flavour of the of the person being interviewed in three or four minutes, and they all have the hashtag Hastings Tube, and they all say the person's full name and a bit of the postcode, so that people can get a real sense of who's around them or look someone up and get a sense of what, what that person is about. That's a thing I aspire to do with the pedicab too. I hope that I'm making enough sense to someone who's watching this video and not just to myself. If I have invaded your space, I'm intrigued at that, at that judgment. Um, I do not... Do I wish to be a space invader? I don't know what kind of invader I wish to be. Definitely not a Norman. I don't wish to be a Norman. No. I am not a Norman. I am not a Mormon. I am a free-range Buddhist. 2066. Free out range Buddhist. 2066. I don't have a free-range Buddhist t-shirt to hand. All I have to hand is... Oh, I probably do have it to hand if I look a little bit further. Is, is this mission statement? And, of course, I want your advice. So, I want your advice. And that's I want your advice at blogspot.co.uk. But the main website to go to, I'm trying to encourage everyone to go to ASAP um, and take action, is additional info. Sorry, that's my thumb, in case you thought it was anything else. Um... So, have you replied to any of the requests that are now on 
the additional info.blogspot.co.uk website. If you have not, well, all I can say is, we are still waiting for you. We are still waiting for you. Even him in a mirror with a bald patch, whoever he is. I've never seen that bald patch with my eyes directly. I don't believe it exists. We are still waiting for you. We are still waiting for you.